Hello there YouTube, Daedric Diamond here, and welcome back to another session of Hearts of Iron and Equestria at War. The previous episode, I managed to annex myself Farbrook, the other water town here, I think, and the, uh, yeah, the nation that was right here, whose name's kind of eluding me at the moment. Otherwise, uh, this episode, I definitely know for a fact I'm taking these guys. But then I'm at a crossroads. And it's going to be problematic, because now I'm in that situation where I think I'm going to primarily be building up. I possibly might align with the River Republic. I mean, I can do that. It's possible. But I don't really want to, unless I absolutely have to. I mean, I could. Who's that more with whom? So that's who they're fighting. Northern Tribes is in a faction with Skyfall Republic. Northern Tribes, and the Griffonian Republic, and whoever these guys are, ah. Uh. So, I'm at a crossroads, and I'm having the feeling eventually one of these three titans is going to probably end up making a move. I do believe they have national focuses that have that. I can definitely confirm the River Republic does. And I think the Griffonian Empire also does. I'm not sure about the Republic, but I think they as well do have that ability. So we're going to pretty much gobble these guys up. Oof. I don't know. That's the problem. This is one of those situations to where after I take this, I'm going to be at a huge crossroads. As I was in the previous episode, I think, where I was at a crossroads between supporting Equestria before it became the Solar Empire or the Changeling Lands. But without further ado, we're going to see where things go from here. At least the good news is, I have things to work with. However, I'm not ready for any major war. Though I do have at least a fleet going for me, so that's good. Let's go ahead and core you, just in case. And that's probably the first thing I should check. Where is... I will mention I am playing with a few other mods, too, so... Oof. Actually, let's not mess with that. companies and that's gonna be useful let's go ahead and do that got materials I can work with definitely it's just now holding on to the land is going to be the real problem. Especially if the Griffonian Empire becomes a problem later. Mm, 
there's the Tame the North thing. I know there is one here. Here we go, Pacify the North. Huh. Okay. Wait. Yep, I nation's on that list. So, yep, they can become a problem. If they'd been a harmonic nation, then I wouldn't have had to worry about them. Alright, so... What have I got? You three... Let's go ahead and... Actually, wait, isn't there a port there? Support there, yeah. And then you'll join with them. And that's right, I have crystal now. So I should probably be making some magical equipment. So that way, whenever that's done, I can go ahead and use the... Oh, which one had it? I know there was one there was like... Here we go, this is it. I already have it researched. So that's going to come in handy once I start getting myself some magical infantry divisions. We'll go ahead and do that one. Alright. I don't think there'll be too much of a problem. It's just them themselves, so... Let's go ahead and save here. Not exactly certain who I should deal with first. That's the problem. I'm tending to want to fortify against them, but then the Empire could be a problem. But there is also the Republic, too. But they've been fighting... Wait. No, they have not been fighting them. Alright. So these few might be at each other's throats. Let's go ahead and start this war. Go ahead and... Remove that. Because I more like to do things manually. Move you guys this direction. Oof. No guys, just make... A general advance for now. Alright, let's let the situation play out. Because I don't think they'll... ...be hardcore armed. an eye on those divisions, make sure that they don't move too much, hold them there, go ahead and start attacking them, you guys can go ahead and start attacking them, I think I'll have you guys start moving. Go ahead and cut them off here. We can wipe out that entire military there then. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then it's just going to be the crossroads of who's the bigger threat. And so far, I'm leaning towards the alliance here because it's quite massive.
All right, go ahead and start attacking them. That deals with them. They're no longer the issue. Okay, that takes them out. Hello, there's a division here. Go ahead and get ready to deal with them. Actually, just continue as you were. Alright. You know what? It's cool. We'll reestablish the supply lines. You, you deal with them. You guys go that direction. That re establishes supply lines there. And it's just going to be the matter of wrapping things up, because I don't think there's going to be much of a war to fight here. I say that, and these guys give me a run for the money. White piece when they took everything. Unless my eyes have cheated me, and I just misread that. Close them I. Yeah, go ahead and take them out. We'll put this there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for a speedy end of the war. Could go for the, uh, the experience, which would help in the long run, but when I have them here and them here looming about as possible potential threats, I'm not going to try and take forever. I want to deal with them as soon as I possibly can, and as quickly. Close. Probably when my take here is when the war will probably hopefully be over. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick moment, go do something real quick, cause I almost forgot. Not gonna be too long though. There we go. Alright, now that that's done, let's go ahead and... Reset that. Pass a few turns, not that it matters. We're gonna annex the whole thing for ourselves. And we'll just core everything. All things gored. I think that's everything. And then I'll go ahead and save here. Ultimate question, what's next?
I could. The temptation to go to war with them while they're at war with these guys is just there. All right, you know what? Let's try that, actually. I know I could probably go to war with the Griffonian Empire and get them moved and out of the way. But then the River Republic is just the bigger threat. I don't really see them. I don't know. Let's have a look. Many goals. <sighs> that is the problem. I don't know where they are in all these war goals. Taking on the Empire would be tempting. But then again, the problem is, is... The Republic is a threat. Though, I could deal with them this way. But a half of me kind of doesn't want to do that. <sighs> Uneasy situation. At a serious crossroad. All right, well, worst comes to worst. Oh, I've already saved. I'll probably maybe in another episode probably try it the other way where I align with them and then maybe go after the Griffonian Empire. Or the Republic. Oh yeah, maybe the Republic. For now, we're going to get ourselves ready for this conflict. So let's go ahead and get set up for it. Otherwise, the uh, first playthrough video I did of this almost has 80 views. That's... Kind of not bad for a small channel, at least in my opinion, but I guess I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to thank you folks for checking out the video. No, really. Thank you. I appreciate any support I get. Again, even if it's just criticism in a comment. At least then it lets me know where I need to improve. Otherwise, I need to think. How do I want to do this? Oof. I'm going to be needing some supplies. And I have no means of being able to do that. So I guess that's going to be the next thing on the agenda. Just got to find what that's under what are the trains under is that under support yes i guess in the meantime we'll go ahead and focus on far brook and raise that naval base We're going to more deal with the Air Force, because I don't think I'll have to worry too much about the Navy, but then again, it is these guys we're talking about. I don't want to fight a war I'm not ready to fight yet. 
But at the same time, I can't take forever either. So let's go ahead and ready some town watch. Let's go ahead and ready more. Looks like this war's finally broke out. You know what? We're gonna play the gamble game. We are gonna do a bloody little gamble game here. Go ahead and do that. Put that there. Let's go ahead. That. Ah, right. We'll call you. There we go. And we're gonna. Throw you guys in. I don't know how long these guys will last. Actually, I think they're making a move. Oh yeah, it definitely looks like they're winning. Wait, maybe they're winning. I don't know. They're making pushes in some areas, but then they're also kind of not at the same time. You know what? Like I said, this is gonna be a gamble on my part. Those are what I'm gonna want from them in victory. So, while they're kinda bonking each other at the moment, and I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do this anyway. over here. You guys are that. So we're gonna go ahead and show under a new command. Yeah, we'll just leave you defaulted for now. I'm not liking these odds anymore. 
It looked like they were winning, but now they're not. You know what? Yeah. Forget that. Well, that's a bad idea waiting to happen, so we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the other idea I had. So, I will instead give myself time to build up. I don't think the Republic is going to be around forever, so... Hmm... Next... Already got that one, so why don't we go ahead and do that? And I need to get some trains built. So we're gonna go ahead to guys. those built up. Probably get you guys more towards the... Yeah, because it looks like the Griffonian Empire is already going to win. I mean, look at that. They're just overwhelming the Republic. crusade against communism and I'll make those three spots my goal and for now because I'm not certain we're gonna put you under the command of this one here, and you guys are gonna go guard my shores. Make four of those, and you'll be the defense of this island. Oh yeah, I'm kind of glad I chose not to go against the Empire for now. I think if anything, it's probably the smarter move to go against the... Really? Alright. that 
there. Nice, on their part. Man, I'm gonna be taking a while. You guys just better hold, or otherwise I'm gonna have a hard time holding this front. Thinking I'm gonna go ahead and change you guys to this. Start swapping out the normal equipment for magical equipment. I know the problem is is you guys are gonna be in the middle of rearmament, but probably given the amount of time everything's gonna take, I think I'll have more than enough time to get you guys at least to decent strength before anything else happens, so. Oof, I'm going to be needing some serious equipment. You're all going towards magical equipment. You're gonna be my offensive general. I've got a while, so that's at least the good news. Or so I thought I had a while. Maybe I don't. I'm gonna make a little sacrifice here. Really need to speed up the magical infantry equipment. You guys will go ahead and go to your posts. Oh, yeah, a Griffonian Empire just. They took over. Suddenly, war with these guys sound really bad. Hello. Ah. Alrighty. Well, there goes that advantage. We'll go ahead and host a nice little national visit. Alright. This can be good.
Alright, so probably gonna be needing a supply base right about oof, here. Is gonna go join on the mainland. You three are going to be under the command of someone new. Yeah, I think it'll be this guy. You guys are gonna get the rather more simple objective. do I have? You're gonna join with that guy again. You guys are gonna go guard the ports. Those magical. All right, it looks like that time's come. Now, Farbrook and the other three were pretty winnable. These guys, on the other hand, I'm kind of up in the air about. I'm saying this because my record of dealing with them, at least as a whole, has not been glorious. But, then again, they're not one big old country either, so... We'll just wait and see how this goes. Alright, come on. Okay, good, so the whole coalition declared war. The problem is, I'm on an already extended front. These guys aren't ready yet. That's the big problem I've got right now. So, we're gonna support them. Causing them to retreat. So they're going to start spreading those forces out. Meanwhile, here I am still trying to get all that set up. I can go away. Not in an easy position, but if I could just wipe out these armies... Like I did all the other times. Go ahead and let them move around a bit. Now you guys are gonna go launch a major assault. What the? Man, am I having a crisis of faith issue? Alright, well, let's go ahead and do this one, then. Am 
I dealing with? Well, that's the problem. Magical divisions. Zoom out so that way folks don't have to hear that. Try and keep these to just... No? God damn it. Alright. This one... Control the waters, right? Yes, I do. Alright, that plays out, then. Alright, you know what? We'll just scoot you to... Under... Here. No. Ugh, I hate this. Put here... Look, give me someone new. Excellent. You'll do. So... Maybe I'll try this spot. I need to get these guys away from the border. That is what is currently the problem. They're all congregating here. Congregating at this border. They're literally moving everything over here. I think they're ready for some kind of an assault. That is the problem. Let's do some regular motorized. This is going to be the annoying part, above all. What I need to do... ...is destroy these armies somehow. I need to lower them into a spot where I can just take them out one by one. Or get them to move away. I could do a naval invasion right here. That might draw some of this to over here. Assuming that location isn't guarded. Let's give it a whirl. Moving everything from here to here. I don't think there's any area I can hit too successfully. 
I am sort of going to have to look to... Gonna have to look to somehow enable an, uh, an amphibious assault. Because this port's guarded, but... Oh, this port's guarded too. <sighs> this is the in-general problem with Hearts of Iron. It's more than this mod, it's Hearts of Iron in general. It's when you get all this division spam. Not to mention alliance spam. And the thing is, is... The River Republic's like... Jesus, one, two, three, four, five... Including them, like, eight to ten nations all at once. See how strong they are here. They're three dug in. Let's go ahead and pull back. Could probably do something better with you guys anyway. That's the problem. Look at this spam division. Like, jeez. All this crap put together. I could try going back. They'll just move everything to over here. I need to lure these guys. Somehow. Some way. I need to entrap them. I don't know, where could I go that might look like a possible cutoff point? Uh, and now they're going on the assault. Yeah, that is going to be the problem. The River Republic is just... Ugh. It's eight nations, or it's freaking one gigantic one. <sighs> and that's the problem. I am not ready for any kind of war. I think this is when I was at that crossroads. <sighs> well, we're gonna have to try this approach then. I didn't want to align with them because they're commies, but oh, I have no choice. And I'm only saying this because this is just how Hearts of Iron works in general. Uh, Alright, well... It looks like it's gonna have to be one of those games. It eliminates the River Coalition as a threat, but then that means I have to negotiate with commies. And I already hate it.
let's see. More reliability, but they take longer to make. No, I hate you, but I'm only doing this just because there is no other option. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Honestly, this little alliance already pisses me off. And again, this isn't Stellaris where I could go at it alone. This is literally one of those games that just is like, Ah, oh, you can't do this alone. You gotta have help. Alright. We'll do that. Because eventually the Empire's gonna be a problem. Continue at it. We're gonna spread here. And thus, the same problem I had from my Far Brook playthrough is now happening. I love and I hate it simultaneously. get you guys on over. Oh, yay, and look at that. The Griffonia Empire is justifying. I think this might be another one of those games that ends in just another giant slog fest. Which is no fun. And I'm not even going to bother worrying about securing my flanks, because, well, that's what my allies are for. Start moving in. There we go. See, that's how you should play it. Eliminate enemy armies whenever you can. And that's just the one thing I don't like about the AI. They don't play it smart. They don't play to eliminate armies. They play to just expand in general. All right, I gotta think. I had the magical war swarm, so... I'd probably just go ahead and just start slamming these guys in, because... Changeling magical infantry is really good. And again, I don't think I'm going to worry about guarding the border so much because, well, I have allies.
All right, well. Let's see if we can try to take out some armies. I don't know who's got the war goal here, but... I'm gonna try to end the war here as fast as possible, so that way when the Great War on this continent begins, all I gotta do is just deal with the Griffonia Empire. Since, effectively, I find myself allied with these folks over, uh, these pones over here. Which cringes the hell out of me, but, you know what? It's survival. Sometimes you gotta work with those you don't like. We'll just start cutting on through. You guys to start making advances here and there. Why do I even bother? The front lines are gonna move faster than, than anything, so... Oh, yay. So now I've got the whole of the Griffonia Republic. I mean, Empire. I don't know why I said Republic. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I did... I'll say I did alright. I suppose the only other thing I could think to do, maybe... Because inevitably, this puppet's gonna get attacked, which then means I'll be attacked. There might be one other idea I've got. Could I do that? Because I just want to just release them at this point. Because if I know they're going to start doing that, then I'm just going to be like, you know what, here you go, have it. If it buys me time. Ugh. <sighs> But inevitably, I think the Empire is going to take it over, so. Well. For the island changelings, not too terrible. Otherwise, until then, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I don't know if I'll actually return to this file, because just like my Farbrook playthrough, it's going to end up being a giant slog fest. So I'm probably thinking probably the next video, if I decide I'm going to try something else, I think I'll probably play a major. Because I rarely play majors. I mean, the only two nations I really play in this mod are either the Island Changelings or Farbrook. And very rarely will I touch the Crystal Empire. I have thought of doing a Crystal Empire run, but I'm probably going to wait on that for a bit. Otherwise, I'm... I don't even know anymore. If anyone has any suggestions on who I should play as, do feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, until then, I'll see you in the next video. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content that I put out there. If you'd like to get this content soon, do hit that notification bell. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Buh bye bye